In terms of the wider prudent healthcare picture, the chapter reflects how housing associations can play a key role in doing the right thing at the right time for people, and that at the heart of a lot of our service is prudency. So in terms of looking outside of the NHS and at key partners to work with, housing is going to be a large part of that. There's a large variety of opportunities to work with housing associations and with communities in Wales. And we need to ensure that our current best practice becomes common practice in years to come. So, you know, basing it on the, on the prudent healthcare principles, that allows a, a common approach and all to adopt a common language about how we take this work forward. In terms of the lessons NHS Wales can apply in working with housing associations in Wales, I think it's key to recognise that they are a, an important partner of the NHS and that when we think about things that are impacting people within their own home, things like welfare reform, prolonged poverty, and now we're seeing potential cuts to the supporting people service in Wales, which is, is a preventative budget to stop people going to their GP or an A&E service. Actually, we need to see investment outside the hospital door to keep people living independently and fully benefit the, the health healthcare needs of the communities. But the housing association sector in Wales is, is rich in activity and opportunities to, to better health outcomes for Welsh communities. And I think that'll be the most exciting thing for someone reading that chapter is understanding exactly how we can make those links more real. For a successful prudent health care would be around increasingly seeing organisations pooling resources to deliver projects that are really well evidenced and this is working across you know, housing, social services, health, education, you know, just for example. But then also that we see an increase in grassroots level activity within communities that complements and enhances what we deliver locally so that we increasingly see this happening and people begin to feel more part of the solution in terms of how they support the health service and the health of their own community to be sustainable going forward.